Hello everyone here, this is CC22X with another video. This time we're going to be focusing in the Arduino setup. I got a couple people asking me how do you do this even though the, the original link below it is for, for that little tutorial I got. It's pretty helpful but the little section of the resetting the board I found a lot of my friends struggling so I decided to make a video. So I have the R3 board and then the basic starter kit link in the uh, Amazon link below and the reason why I went with this kit is because I saw the price between getting the wires <laughs> and buying them separately and they were pretty much the same so all we're gonna be doing this is the like this is the basic setup you need I'm gonna be connecting this to my computer because what we're gonna be doing is resetting the board so we want to make sure our board is the appropriate one to work with the code So now you go to your desktop and open Device Manager. And then in Device Manager, that um, I unfortunately lost the footage of it initially, but once you're there, there should be a section with the USB controllers and stuff like that, right? You should be able to, once you reset your board, see it as other devices. I unfortunately had had a had an issue where I just couldn't couldn't find it um, originally, but but I don't know if it's because I already previously installed the software. But this is the important part. All right, so let it camp some a little. But pretty much, you will put one end of the wire in the GND field, GND field, one of the wires, and then the other one to reset your board. The other one, you will be putting it like in that little board over there with the six pins. So usually, what I do is just wait until I hear the sound of it. Do do. If you hear that sound, your board is resetted. Do it just a couple times. That's usually what it works for me. And uh, as soon as I hear it, I see the device. And then in this case, I happen to not have to update my. Um, my board because I already had the WinRAR and like the updates. So as you can see here, once you you right you will be right clicking on the device and doing an update. Alright. So once you update your driver, you will be able to see your uh you should be able to see see this on flip. So let's open flip up. Then click USB, open, and then here's where you, well, the way we're going to work is you're going to create multiple hex files. Uh, here I have the how to X example, but we're not going to use that. Once you select the, uh, select the file, you're just going to be clicking the run button. So this is the part that was going to be different from Brian Sonic's video. I'm actually using PokéScript. The recent Pokemon DLC update made it so the codes are going to be eight uh, digits instead of four. I don't believe I've seen an update from him, but the PokéScript peeps have done, I've done it already. I'm gonna use a, I'm actually gonna showcase the delete frame option, which is by the way, one of the best things, especially if you're a den hoster. I'm just gonna delete 99 people, generate the hex file, go to flip, load the hex file. I'm gonna show you a brief example of how it works. It's pretty straightforward. Obviously, if you ever have any issues in this step, um, I will say reset your Arduino, restart your computer, or uh, you know, recreate the hex file. So one of, usually does one of the steps. So here we go. I connect my Arduino to my switch, and we're gonna start deleting friends. And that's it. Simple as that. I really enjoyed this uh, feature. If you have any questions, comment below. Drop them down. Uh, otherwise, thank you guys for watching. And like I said original video links are below. Uh, the PokéScript GitHub link is, is going to be there too, and the softwares I've been using for this setup. If you have any more confusions on how to use the auto hoster or anything like that, uh, check out Brian Sonic. He's pretty good. Um, I can always make a video if necessary, 
But otherwise, those are pretty self-explanatory. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!